Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Off the Hook Live. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a product review featuring the e thermal enticer scent pad heater from Winscent. And uh, we're going to go through all the features and all the products that they have. That's something new that's out right now. So, uh, we're going to just stand by here for a few minutes. What's up, Rocco? Hey, LB. Thank you for coming in today. Um, yeah, we're going to go through this uh, product because I'm really excited about it. Um, I believe you can only get this product on the website right now. Uh, I checked on Amazon and everything, and this product's not even really out yet. Uh, but I wanted to thank Joe from Winsent for sending me this unit. And uh, it's uh, I just wanted to say thank you for giving that to me uh, and letting me try it out. So, hey, Daniel from Living MN. What's up, Andy Finn? How are you, buddy? Thank you for coming in. We're doing a product review on the Winsent Enticer, the electronic uh, scent pad heater. Uh, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, I'm just letting some people come in and see. I'm going to put this on here. And we're going to go through the video or go through the products that come with it or that you can buy separate with it. But uh, this is a very new product and I'm really anxious to uh, use this. I'm actually leaving on Sunday. To head down to Ohio for like eight days, maybe 10 days. It depends. Uh, but my buddy's down there right now hunting. Uh, he's seen some bucks, but no shooters yet. Um, and I am taking Theo to camp tomorrow to uh, do some hunting. So uh, I'm probably going to use this down there also. Uh, so I haven't used it on my hunts this year because uh, I just received it like last week. And I shot my buck on October 9th, so I didn't get a chance to really use this yet. So I'm really excited to take it out in the field and try it. Uh, so but we're going to let some people come in. We're going to give it a minute or two. Um, we'll see what happens, who all comes in. we got six people in here. If you haven't hit that like button, I appreciate that. But we're going with the plain background today. Uh, because of the product review, I want to make sure you guys can see it. And I hope you all can see see the products and stuff like that and see me it's uh if you have the green screen on sometimes the products like uh you can see through it <laughs> so i didn't want to uh, i wanted you guys to see it so but yeah i got my buck october 9th so i'm done in pa i do have a doe license uh for here but uh i'm excited to take the a lot tomorrow because it's like the rut starting up here um i just seen a buck i actually just did a short on a buck moving in front of my house today uh, it was a nice it was looked like a seven or an eight pointer it was a nice size about 16 inch spread and it was in the neighbor's yard it was looking around so i videoed that i actually made a uh, short out of that it just posted at 10 o'clock this morning so uh, but yeah we're going to continue the uh 2023 uh pa deer trail uh and that's going to be with theo i do have a doe like a doe video in the process a doe hunting video in the process right now but i haven't been on because it's been so busy these last week or two uh trying to get ready for my hunt in ohio and uh getting theo ready starting to get skim ice on the bays of our lake okay starting to get ice already that's cool so uh yeah we'll give it another where we at? we'll give it another minute or so and then i'll get to it um but yeah, Winsent has been sending me products for a while now. I've been using, I really like using their products. Um, I, I did want to say thank you to my sponsors also. I'd like to thank you, thanks to uh, JJ Drones. I'd like to thank Carl from Chilling in Indiana, Carl, and Dan, the droning veteran. Thank you for sponsoring me this uh, this month. If anybody's interested in a uh, sponsor package for the month of November, you can go email me or you can go over to my community tab and check it out but uh, if you want to email me i can give you the you know the rundown on whatever uh whatever packages you want we have a five ten and twenty five dollar package um five dollar package runs for like two weeks on my channel uh, i put you in the videos you know your your channel and everything tag you on everything and then whenever you guys come out with a new video i share it out and everything for you guys um and then the ten dollar uh package is the same thing and then you get a pack of my baits my off hook baits custom baits and then the 25 dollar package well the ten dollar one runs for three weeks and then the 25 dollar one runs for a month 
and you get two packs of baits also with that and then you get everything shared out on social media and stuff like that um i have actually have to get over to my website because i've been neglecting it lately because i've been so busy but i gotta get over there i'm actually going to be in, uh, adding a hunting page to my website real soon so i'll have all pictures and videos up of hunting and everything like that um if anybody's interested and gets a deer uh and wants to me to showcase it you can hey what's up broadhead what's up why thanks for coming in um if you want to showcase your buck or a friend's buck you can email me the pictures and i'm going to be making a uh, post or i'll make a video with all the bucks that have been taken this year so if you're interested in that you can email me all right so we're going to start this out we've been going for about five minutes here um so obviously it is the e-thermal enticer unit and that is from wind scent and uh as you know you know when you heat heated scent it's a scent pad heater um and you they comes with you got to buy this the heating pad separate uh, but what uh what it does is it heats up your scent so everybody knows that heated scent uh it lasts longer it travels farther and smells stronger uh, and that's sort of like their their little key phrase there that they have here. But it, it does work. I have a few of their other uh, products. I have the 2.0. I have a mini unit that steams like scent. Hey, Steve, thanks for coming in, buddy. Appreciate it. It like steams. And then I, ha I have a mini unit. And then I have a bigger 2.0 unit. And they have scent canisters. It's like an oil. And it's like a vape pen. It actually puts vapor in the air. And it really works really well. So I, I do like the products. And I stand by the wind scent products. Uh, but they also have another side of their business, and it is Fourth Arrow Products. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is for uh, filming, when you're filming your hunts. They have a ton of products out there, mounts, uh, camera arms, and things like that. So if you guys go over to uh, Fourth Arrow Products, that's another division of the Winsent. Or Winsent is the division of the Fourth Arrow Products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up right now, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what's in here. So in the bag itself comes the unit, um, and the unit is right here, and it's just a, it's a nice size unit. So it's uh, you ain't gonna leave it or lose it in the woods. You can't, you know. So that's that. This top comes off. This is just a cover. I'm taking that. That's for rain and things like that, so it doesn't get in the unit. So that's that. That comes off. Uh, it does have a USB-C connection port in the back, so you can charge it charge it up and then the bottom of it it does have a mount that you can put on like a tripod or something like that and i'll show you some of the accessories that i use or i'm going to use with this and then the bottom you just turn and take off and that's your battery compartment so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually grab the battery out here it does come with a remote control and you can see i didn't even use it it's still at the battery tab and it has a remote control you can turn it on and off from your tree stand up to i believe 30 yards away so that's kind of a cool thing. It has a USB cord for charging. And then the battery, it has right here, and it has the little connector. So what you do is you just take this, you put the connector into here. Let me try to make sure I can see here. You just pop it, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'll show you. You put that in and pop it right in place right there. You can see it connected right there and then you just take your battery and you slide your battery in and then you put your cover on it like so oh, you got to make sure the wires are in don't do not need my here you go put the wires in and then you turn it and you're on and then you press the button and i think you hold it in yeah and it turns on and you're ready to go and then this last it lasts up to 15 hours let me turn it on it lasts up to 15 hours uh for heating the scent let me pop this out of here get this back in here let me see something here let's see if you can go it only goes in one way i just wanted to make sure that you can did you know you want to put it in the correct way so yeah you just pop that in like that and then you turn it on and I'm, I see it's only got two uh, two bars, so uh, you're, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to use. See if you see in the front here these little lights. These lights light up, and uh, they will uh, tell you how charged the unit is. 
So let me uh, let me do this real quick here. Let me put this in here. I'm going to just hook it up to my battery pack right now. So you guys can see. Put this in like that. And then you put the battery in place. Put the cover on. Twist it. There's a certain way you do it here. Put the Make sure that the wires are in. Put the cover in and twist. And then you're good to go. And... Okay, let's get the charger cord. And we're going to take the charging cord out of here real quick. And you saw the remote and everything like that. We'll try that out. I'm going to take this and put this in my battery pack right now. Let's see how this works here. Put it in my battery pack. And we're going to plug this in. And you can see... It's charging. Well, where are we at? You can see it's charging right now. So everything is charging right now. So I'm going to leave that go for a little bit and let it charge. And let's see something. I'm going to take the battery. Pull what you do is you pull that tab out of the remote. And it says pause and it has an on button. So you can turn it on and then pause it so it stops heating and then turn it back on to start heating so we're going to keep that up there this is garbage so but that's uh that's that's the heating unit itself the e-thermal enticer hey glab family thank you for coming in thank you for coming in kevin i appreciate you guys um i will share the link here in a little bit here that way if anybody wants to come up we can talk about it talk about the uh the unit itself and everything um so that that thermal unit right now uh, and i'll have it in the description of this video had a giant 11 point bucket by car yesterday who was between my brother yeah sad one openers tomorrow yeah it's wasted um but the e-thermal unit can be found on the website and the website is going across the ticker right now it's www.winset.com and the e-thermal unit right now they have a kit uh and it comes with scent pads and everything that's 124.99 but the scent pad, the unit itself is $79.99, uh, and you can only get that on a website. I checked on Amazon because I was going to put an Amazon link in for you guys, but it isn't on Amazon yet. Now, the scent pads are on, and I'm going to go through them in a second here with you guys. Um, but another, I'm going to get into, so let me get into the scent pads. So the scent pads that comes, that you can buy, uh, they have... Uh, cover scents they have attracting scents and they also have like the deer like this the ruts rutting scents and estrus and things like that so uh the scent pads there's a fresh earth that's how they come now these last up to 15 hours it says up to 15 hours of heated scent and i'm sure you can uh, you can just hang these by themselves on the uh on the branches you can put them like in a scrape you could lay the pad in a scrape if you want to but this is the fresh earth scent so i'll be using that I'm not going to open it and slide it in, but they're just a little pad. Or maybe I can do that. I can't open it, I guess, for you. And then there's apple scent. That's an attractant scent. If you're hunting in, like, apples and things like that, you can uh, use that scent. And then I also have the deceiver, uh, the sanctuary, and that's just like a, a calming scent. It just makes the area smell like there's deer in, deer in the area. So that is uh, the three kinds of scents they have. They have stuff for bear, wolf, and stuff like that, all kinds of different stuff. So I recommend you go over to the website and uh, browse the website and check out all the stuff that they have. But they do come in a container, and it is a self. You can reseal the, uh, the package here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to take I'm going to take the apple out right now because I'm going to use the cover scent for more for this week. So it smells really good. And then you, these pads, these pads are also biodegradable. And they look like a piece of leather, actually. And that's the pads right there. And they smell pretty good. And they're loaded up with scent. And what you do is, let me take this scent enticer thing off of here. And what you can do is, you take it and you just slide it in the sides of here like this. And you just leave the pad set on there. And then it gets heated. And it just starts heating the, the heating it up so there you go and that's and then it also has a little hole there where you could hang on branches and stuff around your stand so if you want to attract them that way also but like i said the heated pad the heated scent uh you know lasts longer travels further and smells stronger 
Uh, so that's why I would heat the sun up. And that's why I am heating the sun up. But um, another thing is another cool thing about this product is you don't actually have to buy the e-thermal heating unit. You can use these if you have like a thermocell. So if you already have a thermocell, uh, you know, to keep the mosquitoes and things away when early in the season, you can use that product with these scent pads. So if you have an, any kind of a, uh, a thermocell heating unit, you can use these pads with it. So that's really cool if you don't want to buy. Uh, we don't have any CWD in our, can you cook a hot pocket? With, no, you, it don't get that hot, John. You can't cook a hot pocket. But yeah, if you have a thermocell, you don't have to go out and buy this. Uh, product you can just buy the scent pads and the scent pads are anywhere from like 24 bucks for I think there's five pads in here so yeah it says you can hang on branches place on the ground or use with heating devices so you get five pads and let me make sure that that's correct I'll check again for you yeah we you have five pads in here and uh, each pad lasts about 15 hours but I'm sure you can probably get it will probably last a lot longer for you if you're not heating them up and even if you're heating them up i'm sure you could use them uh longer than that so and they are biodegradable hey yoper thanks for coming in i appreciate you so that is that our skeeters will carry them thermoso off you have to tie it down yeah they're like little uh airplanes down there um so yeah so that's that and here is the sanctuary like i said i'm going to be using this down in ohio and then the fresh air scent is another good one and i'm going to use that for a cover scent now i use ozonics and things like that also the ozone machine but it's i always use fresh air scent as a cover scent also uh, just another like scent precaution um and what i wanted to show you was let me see something here i want to try to see something if this okay it comes on i just want to make sure that this uh, remote works Yep, and it works. So it's on, and then when you pause it, it stops. It stops, and then when you press it back on, the light turns on. So there you go. So the remote, you don't have to do anything with the remote. You just use it. Then you can see the light come on right here when you press it. You see the red light? So that's cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this battery. I'm going to leave a charge. I'll leave a charge for a while. Leave it in here and let it charge up. But uh, so what I wanted to show you was some shouldn't you use Buckeye scent? Buckeye scent, yeah. <laughs> so what you uh, what I what I want to use and Win Scent has a bunch of accessories also. And this is a tripod that I use. And this is I use this for my 2.0 uh, units, and you can use it for your mini unit. And what you can do is you just have, with that screw you can just screw it on the bottom. And you could set this on the ground like so you just screw it in at the bottom and then you could set it you could stand it up like that on the ground for yourself if you want to do that so they're, they're, they have a tripod and they also have like a telescoping stake that you can get it up in the air more uh, so you can do that as well um, and also what i like to do though is i don't put it on the ground um because i feel that when you're up in a tree your sense blown differently than you would be on the ground so what i use is i use this little arm and i'll have everything linked in the description after this is processing the video uh the live once it's processing i'll have all the these links in the uh the description of the video so this is a tree mount now they make a tree mount. this is a screw mount now i use a screw mount because i'm on private property but i do recommend you check your local game laws and uh make sure that you're allowed to screw into a tree if not they have a strap mount like this also where you can strap it around the tree and what you'll want to do is you just take that and you just screw it into the top like this if i can get this in there there you go just screw it in and then you can take this off and you can screw this wing nut into the tree and then you just take it and you put it on here and then screw it in like that and then this has knuckles on it where you can you can take it and you can move whichever way you want i usually keep it up in the air like that and put it like an l-shaped on the uh on the tree so that's just another cool accessory and this isn't a wind scent accessory this is just something i got off of amazon but wind scent has a bunch of accessories on their uh on their website that you can purchase for units like this so but it's a really cool product 
I really like it. Uh, I can't wait to use it, actually, and see what happens. But uh, I'm going to put this. I'm going to keep charging it up, though, while it's here. Might as well I'll put this little thing in here. I'm sorry I haven't had the chat. So we need a wagon to get all your stuff to the stand. Now I put it all in my uh I put it all in my backpack, John. It all fits in my backpack really nice, actually. Let me get this in here correctly. So uh there is this bottom, this door on here. I wish it was a little more secure because it turns and it's just like sort of not a pain to get in, but it's just it just turns and locks in. I wish it had like a rubber seal or something on it, also. But it is waterproof, so. And you just plug that back in, and we're going to let that charge while the video is while we're doing the live here. So, yeah, uh, the scent pads are about $24.99. You get a pack of five of them. Uh, that's really cool. So, I remember, like I said, I thank Joe from over at WinScent from send, for sending me the products and show you guys. You know, uh, it's really a new product for this year. Uh, but go over, browse the website, check it out. Um, I think you guys would be really uh, impressed with the scent. And all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to share my link here. Let's see. Settings. Let's go into settings. Let's go into touch screen. I don't want to do that. I'm going to go into this. And I want to go to invite. So I want to go to copy. It's copied. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the I'm post the link in the chat if anybody wants to come up and talk some hunting. Um, like I said, I'm going. I'm excited to take Theo to uh, down to camp tomorrow. Uh, he's not a morning person though, uh, and, and I got I get it. He, all week he's out doing karate, baseball practice. I mean, he practices indoors, so he has practice every day. Weather doesn't matter. Uh, he has school. He's doing really well in school. We talked to their teachers yesterday. We had like parent teacher conference, so I was really proud of him. The teachers have nothing had nothing but good things to say about him. So uh, we were really happy to get a good report from him. My daughter's doing really well at her new school. She's in high school this year. So, uh, hey, Crossover, thanks for coming in. And uh, so, you know, it's uh, they've been doing really well, but they've been really busy. So I'm letting him sleep in tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to get up and get everything ready. We're going to go down and we're going to hunt the majority of the day. Um, so we're going to go down and we got to stop at the store. I got to pick up some tickets for our club. and then. Wow, we have nine inches of snow. Where you at, Glob? Just to let let me know where you're where you're at, where you got all the snow at. So uh yeah, we're gonna get up tomorrow. Uh we're gonna get I'm gonna try to get out of here by 10 and then uh we're gonna head down to my camp. We're gonna go up and Pappy stand his box bind. I'm gonna take the heater for Theo because it's gonna be chilly out tomorrow. So we're gonna get on and then uh hopefully we can see uh we see a deer. We see a buck hopefully he can get a shot at a buck he's really excited about going so uh that's a good thing we have our conference today so that's why yeah yep i got he had a half day yesterday that's why they uh had a half day north pole alaska sweet oh, i guess you're uh that's where the snow comes from <laughs> so yeah so saturday we'll go down hunt the evening come back and then saturday night once i get back I got to pack my truck up, and then Sunday morning, I'm heading to Ohio for my rutcation, so I'm really excited about going down there. Um, I've been talking to my buddy. He's been down there since Wednesday, and uh, he's seen some bucks, but he's not seen the big ones. Uh, a lot of movement is, I think, midday and at night because of the moon phase right now. The moon phase, got it's so bright out that the deer are moving at night a lot. Um, so next week, I... Uh, I checked all the uh, schedules and the deer movements and stuff, and it looks like it's going back to normal. The moon's going to go away next week, and uh, it should be back to normal. So we should have regular deer movement, obviously, if it's uh, the weather cooperates, which it does look like. It's going to be a hair warmer, a little bit warmer next week than it is this week, which is okay. It'll be real cool in the morning and the evenings, but the afternoon it gets up to like 60 i think is the high maybe 65 a day or two down there so we're going to uh try our best i'm going to try my best uh to cut a good video to hopefully get a lot of deer on video down there uh, i am going to be going live probably from my tree stand down there the only thing with my tree stand is there's a main artery highway that runs down through there 70 and uh you could hear the traffic so uh 
I'll probably, I'll definitely have my mics on and things like that to try to, you know, drown out that, that traffic, but it, it gets pretty loud from my tree stand actually, because I'm about, I don't know, a half, quarter of a mile away, maybe, maybe that far away from the uh, main road there. So you could hear a lot of the trucks and traffic driving past. So, but I'm going to try to go live from the stand. Ted, make sure you watch video I sent. Yeah, I will, John, definitely for sure. I'll watch it after this live. Um, so, but my buddy has, uh, we got a lot of bucks on camera down there this year. There's a lot of shooter bucks. There's a triple buck, a beam buck down there. There's a few tens. There's a nice eight, a big nine. So I'm really anxious to get down there. I usually see a big deer down there. I'm not saying that I get a shot at, but I'm usually seeing, I do see a lot of deer from my stand because it's a nice travel area. So I'm just really looking forward to getting down there and I'll probably hunt like all day, all day sits. Uh, at least for as long as I can uh, throughout the week. Sometimes I'll come in midday, like midweek to take a break and maybe go take a nap, catch up on some sleep. <laughs> but uh, we're going to eat good down there. We're going to have fun. Uh, we're going to be out hunting hard. Uh, it'll be me, my buddy Bob, and his wife, Boo, will be out there hunting. And uh, I was thinking that they, one of them would be done by now. But like I said, the uh, deer movement's a little bit crazy. I know they're both sitting out there today all day. Uh, we talked yesterday and we were thinking at the midday cod bites fishing adventures. Hey, thank you for coming in cod bites. I appreciate it. For those who haven't hit the like button, please do so. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the plan. And, uh, this heater, I'm going to be looking forward to using this heater this week. And I also have the scent, uh, vaporizers too that i'm going to be using so we'll see what happens so i'm just trying to test this thing out here a little bit i want to see if it gets warm okay so it's on right now and it's full charged so i'm going to see and you do got to hold that button in i just wanted to tell you that hold the button in for about three seconds and that comes on you don't just press the button and it turns on you press and hold it in and then it comes on but uh let me see if i can feel see if it's getting warm and it is, it is getting a little warm just like a thermocell so but yeah i i just like the idea of the thermocell uh then it's green So now it's on on <laughs> and then let's see the uh, pause pause it to red on is green can you see that guys I don't know if I can see that real good but the green and then when you pause it it turns red and then you use the button put it on and it's green so it's heating right now I'm gonna pause that and then I am going to shut it off and I think shutting it down you probably have to hold the button in too so we'll see Yes, so you just hold the button in for three to five seconds and it goes off. So I'm going to keep charging this because I want this to be fully charged. So, but yeah, that's that's about it. And hey, Squirrel, thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate you. Hit that like button if you haven't already. So if anybody wants to come up, man, there's the uh, link right there. I know John's download. I know he's doing video video right now. I can't wait to see that one. When he calls, when he texts me and says, I got a good one, I know he's got a good one. All his videos are good, though. There is the link right there. So if anybody wants to come up. But, yeah, I'm really I'm really excited about this product. So make sure you go over to Winsent. And let me see if I have the, uh, let me see if I have, there. there's the, uh, the website right there guys for you to go over it's www.winsent.com uh you place an order if you get in contact with them let them know that off the hook sent you um it's uh it'll help me out a little bit with them but joe's an awesome guy over here. he always sends me the new products and he sent me this one and it's not even it's very new on the market so i'm really excited about it but we're going to see what happens and then i'll have i'll have the uh the links to this little arm that I use and then the, on the website itself. Now you can get these scent pads on Amazon right now. 
uh, so you can go over to Amazon. I will, if I, I find these on Amazon, I'll put the Amazon link in my video or in the description of this video. So you guys can uh, click on it and go check it out. But uh, that's what uh, I'll do at the end once it's uh, uploading to the uh, to YouTube. And I can I usually fill in all my information while it's uploading because it doesn't really matter until it's uploaded and goes public. So, but yeah, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for coming in today. And uh, last day of work, Friday, and then I got the week off, so I'm really excited about that. So anything new with any of you guys? Uh, anything happening? Anybody going hunting or anybody fishing? I know John's fishing right now. Um, but just checking, you know, I like to do these lives. And I wanted to do the live product review because uh, every I don't see too many live product reviews out there. So I like to, to go live sometimes with these because I can get a little more in-depth and I can – you know answer any questions that anybody has on the products i do have another light review coming out uh it's from Bryn light so we're going to do a review on that soon i'll probably just make a video with that one i do have my uh video for my ice fox uh action camera that's probably going to come out wednesday because i'll be hunting this week so i'll be making videos and i already have a video stored up so i can put that out on wednesday so i can stay with my wednesday night upload so that'll be coming out wednesday at seven uh if you guys haven't followed any of the pa deer trail the 2023 pa deer trail deer trail go over check that out i did shoot a buck on one of the videos there uh, i think there's three or four episodes of that right now uh, and we are continuing that with my son and I'll probably continue that when I doe hunt uh, after, you know, I get back from Ohio. But then I also have the 2023 Ohio Deer Trail that's out. And I think I have two videos out right now. So if you want to, if you haven't caught up on them or if you haven't looked at them yet, go over and uh, check those videos out. Uh, another thing that not something new that I'm doing now is I'm also putting my videos out on Facebook. Uh, I, I have a deal with them that I'm putting out uh, videos. Uh, on my Facebook, uh, off the hook page on Facebook. So if you guys all have Facebook, go over there and like my page and uh, follow me on Facebook also. Uh, it's a little different. It's not like the YouTube videos. It's uh, Facebook. You know, I do a little bit of different things in the Facebook videos. So check it out over there. Uh, let me know. Hey, Buck, how are you, buddy? Thanks for coming in. Appreciate you. But yeah, I had a nice buck this morning when I took my uh, daughter to work today. I come home and backed up in the driveway and I looked across the, the street there and up in the yard, the neighbor's yard, a nice seven or eight point come walking down and he was looking around and then he went back into the woods over by the golf course. I have a stand over there, but like I said, I'm done. Yeah, the, the deer are definitely going to start hitting like these these main arteries, these uh, roads and things like that. You're going to start seeing a lot more deer jumping out in front of you. So, yeah, this is the time of the year. That's actually great information, Buck. Appreciate that. But, yeah, if you guys are driving and traveling uh, at this time, first couple of weeks in November, it's pretty bad out. You'll see a lot. I'm, I'm probably going to see a lot of deer hit on 70 going to Ohio tomorrow or Sunday uh, and going to my camp tomorrow on 51. I take that route 51 i go to 40 so they're all you know pretty good pretty good highways and they will be deer laying all over the road probably and that's how you know they're in in the rut when you start seeing all kinds of deer hit on the road too so but that's why we hunt try to make those roads safe so but is there any questions for anyone anybody have any questions uh about anything hunting related if anybody wants to talk about fishing we can do that too i'm gonna uh put the invite link up because I want to go on for at least an hour or so. So I'm going to do this, copy it, and then I'm going to paste it down here. Paste it and then put it up. So if anybody wants to come on, feel free to get on. I know everybody's probably hunting. But yeah, <coughs> the Winsend products are awesome. Go check them out. And uh, I think you'll be impressed with that. Okay, so Deerhead, you, you the uh, roadkill guy, Daniel. You like the roadkill, huh? I know a couple people that used to do that. If it was fresh enough, they would go and they would take the deer and 
butcher it up and it has deer meat. So I don't do that, but I know a few people that do do that. So, but yeah, ice fishing is coming up real quick here, guys, for everybody. So if anybody's interested in any ice fishing baits, uh, please, you know, feel free to email me or hit me up on YouTube or uh, go to my website, place an order, uh, or just call me if anybody has my number and let me know what you want. I have a bunch of uh, ice fishing baits this year that I have. Uh, I just started getting some last, at the end of last year, so I wanted to have a few of them this year for people. Like Daniel is going to be using some of my baits this year, so uh, I'm going to send him a package of uh, baits, whatever he wants to use. And uh, But if anybody would like to order any baits, please get a hold of me. Uh, like I said, they're custom baits. I can make them any color. I can match colors. So if, uh, anything that we can do, anything that you want, I can probably do. So, But that's uh, that's that. Let me, uh, I, what I want to do is while I'm here, I'm going to run down. I'm going to grab my, uh, my wind scent units. I'm going to show you the other two units. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys in case you're interested in those. So I'll be right back. I should have had them with me, but I didn't bring them up. I sort of forgot about them. They're downstairs. So let me run down and grab them, and I'll be right back. Give me two minutes. Okay, so I've got that. Let me show you guys what I got here. All right, Glad, thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. Okay, so first I'm going to go with the uh, the mini. I'm going to show you this little mini unit right here. Now this doesn't come with a battery, like a rechargeable battery or anything. What it recommends is AA lithiums. And it is just a box. I don't have the batteries in it. But the batteries just go right in the back of here. And that is three AA batteries. And it has the compartment for the flask, what they call the scent tank. And it has an on and off button on the side here. That's it. When you turn it on, it comes on and it, it releases scent every minute. And what you use in these, and I'll show you this real quick here. What you're using the uh, little mini, and this is the mini electronic scent vaporizer. You use these little scent tanks, is what they call, and they come with two rubber sleeves over them. And what you do is you take the rubber sleeve off, and you see the screw in, and you put that into the scent dispenser like this, and you put it in there, and you take this off, and then you turn it on, and it has it vaporizes your scent. Now, these scent vaporizer canisters last up to 40, 45 hours. So you get a lot for your money with these. Uh, these are on the Winscent website also. So I would go check them out. They have a bunch of different scents, uh, different manufacturers, different companies make scent for these units. So uh, I would go check that out over on the Winscent.com. But, yeah, that's the little mini there. And that's a cool – and it has the little – uh, screw too. So if you want to screw it, they make a clamp. They have the, the telescoping stake. They also have the tripod, and then you can use the uh, the little thing that I use up in the tree stand uh, to mount it, and then you have it screwed into your tree, and that'll cover your scent or attracting scents. Now, what I do with the cover scents is I definitely have them up above where I'm at, uh, but I like to put these things on the ground if I'm using like a doe estrus or something like that or like a buck and rot with doe. Um, I will you put it on the ground and I usually put it upwind of me 20 to 30 yards because uh, the uh, this doesn't have a remote. But uh, the ones that have remote, you can work it that far. So I put it upwind of me because a deer will check their 
the wind will move the out of you. So if you're below that, you want to be, you know, the, the scent will be blown to you. And that's what you want for the gear to get closer to you so you can use that. So that is the mini unit. And after, let me see, this one goes in here. And it's, I just want to read this. It was smoke stronger, lasts longer, travel further. Uh, wind set many vaporizers. It takes three, and they recommend lithium AA batteries. So, and it does release scent every minute, I believe. Releases heated vaporized scent every minute. So that's what it says on the box. It, he, it eliminates the scent every minute. It releases scent. Now, this right here is the 2.0 canister and this does have a magnet i don't know where but the bottom of it is a magnet i don't have nothing in the middle here so I'm from that. yeah so it's like a magnet it sticks so you can set this on like if you have a metal tree stand you can put the magnet on it and they sell that magnetic base separate so you can unscrew the bottom of this thing here my battery is in there right now and it's a rechargeable battery you just plug it in, and uh, the back of this unit has USB-C also right here. And you put your battery in. You screw this base in. And the base has like a, a felt pad on the bottom, I guess. So it's like not real loud when you bang it off of metal. Um, and let's see here. So I turned it on, and it's down to two, two of those right now, okay? And you can also use your tripod, in which I, the tripod is the magnet. You can see it's the magnet on it holds it up. But you can screw that into the bottom of this, like so. And you screw it in. And this also has a remote. But this right here will release scent every three minutes or every minute. And that has a remote right here. And let's see. You can see it flashing blue. And if you hit A, you'll see it flashing green. And the blue is every minute, the green, or the green is every one minute, the blue is every three minutes. So you can do that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this scent canister and I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to show you what it does here. So what you do is you plug it into there, you take it and you screw it in. Now, you don't want to over tighten this, you just screw it in like hand tight. Just screw it down so it's snug. And I give it a little turn and you take the cap off. And then I'm going to press the button here and see. And you can see that it's steaming right there. My wife's going to probably kill me. But you can see it's steaming. And that releases the vapor in the air. And it is on green. So it's every minute. You'll see every minute it goes off. And then when I hit the blue, and I can do this anytime. If there's a deer in the area and I have this remote, I can press it to try to attract that deer close to me. If not, I usually keep the remote in my pocket. And then I just let this go. Uh, and do its thing. So now there is the blue one, and you'll see it really scent. And that's releasing the scent. And this is stud buck. This is a buck in like rut, a dominant buck uh, lure. I like to use this like to attract those big ones, you know, like a territorial thing. And then when you're done with it, you just take it, you shut the unit off. I just press and hold the button. It shuts it off. I take the scent canister. And you can see it in there. There's oil, like the oil, like a vape pen. You can see the oil in there. That's filled up. When that gets low, you know that you need another one. But it lasts really long time. It lasts like 40 hours. So I have a few different ones here. I have uh, dough and estrus, and then I got a new one. It's hot dough. So I got these, and then I got another stud buck. And sometimes I do. What's neat about the different units is you can have this on the ground. You could have your cover sent up in the stand with you, and you could have the other mini on another part of the ground, you know, somewhere else, and you can make it, you could do scenarios. You can do like, you know, doe and buck or a buck with a doe type deal. So I like having the options for that. And so we're going to keep that, put that in there because I'll be using that this week. And then we're going to take the tripod, put the tripod back in here into the case and I'll show you this case and this case is really cool it's a nice padded case for your unit and it's a little inside case and this is a kit that you can buy and that's also in the uh on the website so make sure you go over and check out Winsent check out their products they have a lot of cool stuff they have a lot of uh 
they have apparel and things over there too if you're interested in that like you can see my windsense shirt that i have on right here that's uh from there so uh but yeah definitely go over and check them out um if nobody has any questions or anything i think i'm going to end the live and the review here so i i do appreciate each and every one of you uh for coming in today and this afternoon mid -mo late morning mid early afternoon uh live product review of the Winsent uh e-thermal enticer scent pad unit so uh and like i always say guys take a kid fishing or hunting we want to preserve that sport and pass it on to future generations and we will see you